asked by the management of the university to develop a new program where we can give <clears throat> the students on our campus more confidence when speaking in, in English. The first GEO program, uh, we, we were still teaching in the Nichols building. Uh, this building wasn't finished. We found a, a fantastic venue in Yomi, but it's about 100 kilometers from here. And we had to take paper, pencils, copy machines, cameras, uh, everything with us to make it work. And we did, with the help of our Korean TAs, of course. Uh, the, uh, they call themselves the ancestors of GEO. Uh, it worked. It worked out very, very well. It was a huge success and the beginning of many, many other programs to follow. Uh, GEO 1 and uh, I think up to GEO 4, uh, we had only Korean TAs uh, in our program. And I think from G04, 05, uh, the first group, the first batch of international students arrived on our campus. With the goal of the university to have an inbound and outbound globalization program, this was a perfect match to have international students here so that our students can basically for the first time uh, outside the classroom city start to communicate in English with, with native speakers. And uh, I think uh, in our first group we had between 40 and 50 international students on the campus. It was absolutely fantastic. Uh, including our Korean TAs of course, uh, they can also speak English fluently. Uh, it gave our students a new dimension of learning uh, to gain more confidence in English. My name is Chuni. I use my nickname Angelo when I uh, work in this program. I feel like I'm back in GEO camp with this jacket. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, I started working in this program back in 2009 and two and a half years more uh, in this program. I'm currently working at KDI, a Korean Development Institute at the Center for International Development. And I'll say without this program, I wasn't able to get this job and uh, in this area. GU is not only giving an opportunity uh, to speak, to communicate in English, but also at the same time, it provides us the wonderful opportunity that we share our ideas, our values. And, and this is the program where I learn not only in English, but also teamwork, leadership, and life. I was part of that program since 2011. And looking back, I would always first remember the social events. The social evenings, in particular. So, during those social evenings, there were a lot of preparations, the choices of which food to create, the decorations, the posters that we have to design, but of course, it's always the performances that we all look back and laugh about. So for GEO and for me, there were a lot of things I've learned actually, apart from being able to work more closely with computers. Maybe, um, it's a realization that I am actually that, that patient. Patient with talking with our students, patient with dealing with meetings, or dealing with others' attitudes. If you know. <laughs> but I think that kind of value really helped me understand a lot more people and it helped me more it helped me get to work better with the others because if I'm not patient what would I mean I don't think we would be able to finish anything <laughs> so it's really a good thing Geo does not only assist students with their English language proficiency but most significantly, GEO has been an avenue for students and its members 
to be molded as student leaders, creative thinkers, and compassionate individuals in their own chosen fields. This is why GEO has been a special and important program, not just in CUK, but in the entire South Korea. My best memory of GEO um, probably would be my first winter camp, which is a seminarian camp. And um, I was a little bit worried about teaching that camp, firstly, because it was my first camp, four weeks intensive program, but also because uh, there are mainly seminarians, uh, training priests for that camp. So I was a little bit concerned about how that would go, how that would go down. Um, and I remember my icebreaker in that class, I was worried, would it be enough? It lasted about two hours, so long. They were absolutely fantastic. Um, and yeah, I mean, I was really taken aback by how active they were in that camp. My team on that camp, that was the first, my first sort of experience of having a, having a country team. So I chose the Seychelles as a team. I didn't really know much about what would happen. Again, they were absolutely fantastic. Um, got into all of the different events, we had great fun together, as I know all teams did. And in that camp though especially, uh, the Seychelles team did really well. Um, so obviously that's a good memory for me. To the Global Initial Pro Outreach Program, congratulations. Happy first GEO anniversary. I wish everyone a happy anniversary for GEO. Happy fifth anniversary. GEO is a fantastic program and uh, just Please don't have any regrets um, about not trying your best. Give 100%, try your best, and you'll be amazed by you know, how far that can take you. I think if I have a message for our alumni, it will be to go out and to live your lives to the fullest. To use the experience that you um, had in our GEO program. Um, to make the world a better place and to to make a difference where you go. Thank you.